My name is Morton Chops, welcome back to the shop and today this is a very very quick video. This isn't a reply to when I was saying about the bike lock in the as the sprocket turns video and people saying oh no you don't have to do that you just have to fucking undo the bleed nipple or undo the fucking banjo bolt or something. Speed motherfuckers, haven't you ever been to prison? The fact of the matter is it's so much easier just to go and then get it rolling in a van. You've got to remember that these guys who actually nick Harley Davidson's and very expensive bikes and all the rest of it they um, usually do it in vans, you know, they don't just try and wheel it away, they whatever, they try and do it in a van or something shit like that. And if you've got um, one of these locks on your fucking front brake and all the rest of it and all that shite and that's all you have, they're just going to come over and they're going to nick your brake line. Instant drop of pressure, brakes are fucking undone. Sat there with a spanner trying to undo a bleed thing and then waiting for just a tiny bit of the fucking pressure to bleed out and all the rest of it. It's not quick, is it? Think about it. You're coming down the street like that, you've got some cutters in your pocket, you back the van up to the fucking thing, you're looking around midday, go up, cut the brake lines right down near the calipers, tie in your shoelace, cut it, let it bleed a bit, and then push it in the back of the van. That's what they're going to do, that's why I said, you can, people can undo calipers and banjos, I'm not arguing the fact, it's just everyone saying, ah Matt, but you don't need to do that, that's thinking it from a fucking engineering point of view. Yeah, you know, don't fucking break the brake line. You know, all you have to do is undo this. Yes, that's us being delicate with our bikes of trying to imagine how to pinch our own bikes. You know, you'll be like, oh, don't do that because I'll have to replace the brake line. These guys are trying to be quick. They're trying to be quick and get the fuck out of there. You know what I mean? They don't even have to completely cut the brake line. They have to nick it so it starts bleeding out. Pressure gone, push it into the van. You know, you'd have to fucking bleed oil everywhere. You can just fucking nick it so it starts dripping. If it's dripping, the pressure's dropped off the brake pads will go and away you go. One of the best deterrents for, and I, I see a lot of people don't use them, and it, I, I don't know why, steering locks. What do steering locks do? It means that you can't wheel the bike away, you just end up going in fucking circles. And you'd have to be a really crafty criminal to park your van so it wheels into your van. I'm not saying that that hasn't been done, they probably have done. But um, steering locks, you know what I mean? Now a lot of you go, steering locks, ah, well on my ped, fucking they are shit. The steering lock on the SV, the GSXR, the steering lock on the um, ER5, you ain't just going to go, ah, snap, done it, fuck me, have a go, <laughs> have a go, one day I'll have a go and show you what it takes to snap a steering lock on a proper motorcycle, fuck me, it's difficult, hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit. 